All right, I just want to walk you through the blog that I put together here about how to integrate chat GPT into your Instagram DMs. And I'm going to go kind of step by step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and I'm going to go over to OpenAI and I'm going to create a new API key. Uh, when I do this, I'm just going to delete it whenever I'm done. So I'm going to use it for today and then I'll delete it. I'm going to leave this open right here for now because I need to go back and I need to look at step two. So step two says create an account at Minichat. I already have that. It says navigate and create a new field. I already have my new field created, but I'll show you where to create that. So when you go down to your settings and you go down here to fields, you can create a new field right here and you just go ahead and put an AI response and choose it as the text field. Um, that follows us down here to step three. Now we're going to go to step four where it says create a new automation starting with the action step. So I'm going to go do that in mini chat. Hit the cancel button here. I'm going to go into my automations and I'm going to create a new automation. Okay, whenever I do this, now I'm using the flow editor. If you're using the basic editor, that might be a little different. You can flip here and go to the flow editor. Um, that's where I'm at. So here, right, we go back to our things, and it says create a new automation. So starting step here, and then go to action. So that's cool. I can do that. So I can go to actions. So now mine looks just like this. See, here's the picture. Here's mine. Now add a trigger, Instagram, Instagram keyword. Right, because that's what it says to do next. Add a trigger and select Instagram keyword. Now it says to put all these words in. I'm not going to put all these words in right now because you can put all the words in. But I'll tell you what this does. When you choose if message contains any words, so let's just say if message contains Clubhouse, um, then trigger the message. So all you're doing here is you're saying if the message contains any of these words, then trigger the message. Now on this screen, as you can see, I said choose who, what, why, when, where, how, do, should, can, which, and then click create. So all those different words. Now one thing of note, when you put the word in here, you do have to click the create button down at the bottom. So when you click the create button, it's there, it's activated, it's ready to go. Now you go to the next step, which says actions. We go in here and we look, it says, oh, well, there's the next step. Choose actions. So I'm going to do that. I go ahead and choose an action right here. Create an action. And when I do, what it tells me to do is choose the do, 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 external request. And when I choose that, I click here, and now it looks just like this. So choose external request, and it looks just like this. Now it tells me to copy and paste this, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to copy and paste this right here. and Put it right there at the top. It tells me I need a new um, field down here. I need to call it authorization, and I need to put the value in there. So I'm going to create a new field here going to call it authorization and it says in the value put bearer and then your API key so I'm going to do that I'm going to put bearer and then I'm going to put my API key so my API key is right here I'm just going to copy and paste it all I'm doing is copying and pasting right I'm going to save that oops I didn't need to save that so let's just get right back into it so now I'm going to go down to the next step and it says oh in the body do this so I'm just going to copy and paste this in the body so I'm going to click on body right here I'm going to copy and paste this right here. That's easy. Now I'm going to click on, in the response mapping section, I'm going to put in this, right, just like it is there, the response mapping section. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to add. I'm going to put in that. Here I'm going to choose my custom field, and I'm going to hit the Save button. Now, did all that. Now it says the next step. Click to draw and then choose Instagram. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click here. I'm going to draw this right here. I'm going to drop it. I'm going to choose Instagram. It says to send message. Now what we put in here is we click here. We click this button. We go down and we find our custom field, AI response. We go ahead and add a button in here to open website. Website I'm going to go to is HTTPS join.gary.club. If you've enjoyed this and you need a little bit of help, if you enjoyed this and you want to learn more, if you enjoyed this and you want to ask some questions, if you've enjoyed this and you just want to hang out with people who enjoy this, then click the button, go to join.gary.club, and you can check out what we have to offer as well. So I'm going to put join Gary Club right there. I'm going to choose done. I'm done. The whole automation's done. I'm less than five minutes in. Now, I already had a mini chat account. I already had an open AI account. That might take you an extra five minutes a piece. Less than 15 minutes and you're up and running. Now, you might want to tweak this, right? So if you click here and you go to the body section, see, I put a lot of information about myself in here. I put that I studied Dan Kennedy and Gary Vaynerchuk and Tony Robbins and David Goggins and Jeff Walker. 
I put who I was, and I put that I write concise responses. You can edit all this right here in this section. Right here, I kind of tell you, you can edit this section right here. So take this section and make it about you. Customize it, edit it, right? So where it starts with you and go here. So that section that I just highlighted, you can customize and edit that. Leave everything else the same. It's all important, right? But you can customize and edit that to make it more personalized for you. You can customize and edit the, the keywords that people type in, right? These keywords right here, I put Clubhouse. You can put any word you want. But you could customize and edit the keywords to type in, and then you could publish it. And when you do, you could send a message. You could test it, or you could have one of your friends send a message and test it. And as long as they put that keyword in, right, as long as that keyword here, it says contains. Now, you could choose um, is or begins with or doesn't contains. You could choose all kinds of things if you wanted. But as long as it contains the word clubhouse, you can put up to 10 keywords here. Then I'll trigger the AI, and I'll trigger the response, and I'll post the response right back to Instagram. So thank you all. Have an absolutely amazing day. This is how you get your chat GPT hooked up inside of your Instagram DMs.